Mid this week, a letter started circulating on social media indicating that the clerk to parliament had invited the House Committee of National Economy to gather and scrutinize the government proposal to borrow 455 million euros. The money would be drawn from Standard Chartered Bank and other financial institutions towards financing development and infrastructure budget starting on Monday. This loan is a syndicated one which will be coordinated by the Standard Chartered Bank United Kingdom together with other financial institutions. However, House Chiboa, an economist at the Initiative for Social and Economic Rights, has declared that this loan, picked from a commercial bank, comes with its shortcomings. That um, this loan is going to double the share, more than double actually the share of our external loans that are commercial. So right now, when you look at the share of our external loans that are commercial, they are just about 1.4 trillion. The loan that is being acquired is equivalent to 1.7 trillion Uganda. Andrew Muhimbise is an equity and debt investor. He says the loan that government is acquiring will have a ripple effect. It has a ripple effect as well because you're going to see them increase taxes because they have to pay back that debt and other debt and we know uh, our government is a big borrower and, and we, we have also seen like risks of, um, of, of a fiscal crisis. The loan comes with variable interest rates. I'll give an example. The permanent secretary said that by the time they negotiated this loan earlier on in this year in February of 2022, the interest rates globally for all loans that were being acquired by governments was around negative 0.45%. We can see that in just a period of seven months, right now in October, that interest rate has actually quadrupled to now 2.2%. So if Uganda is taking on this loan at 3%, that means there is a chance that in just a matter of a few months, it can even get to 10%. That means the cost of paying back this loan, the interest on this loan could go back in could rise in just a very short time period. The economists say government should have opted for a concessional loan than a commercial loan because the loan requires you to pay back in the very amount borrowed, which will have effects on the locals. For infrastructure, there are infrastructure bonds. You know, you can issue them and they would come at cheaper rates. Uh, we saw the express was financed by Entebbe where they co collect the, the road toll. Yeah, but it's, it's largely fiscal indiscipline. They have advised government on how best they can cap down on the borrowing and increasing budget support. Over the last financial years, government is spending, has spent over 175 million US dollars on Luboa Hospital. So we've, in just two financial years, we've paid back 175 million US dollars to the financiers of the hospital. Yeah. That is more than a quarter of the share of the loan that we are actually acquiring right now. But they do something they call treasury redemption. It means that when NSSF debt matures, that it owes government, government simply says, let us roll it over. Yeah, let me pay you interest, I hold uh, uh, the principal. So that squeezes money that goes around. The Committee on National Economy has up to three days to scrutinize and consult on the loan, which is likely to be presented on the floor of Parliament on Wednesday and be passed. Jumakiria, NTV.